Hello everybody! Guess what? It happened! We got rain last night and boy did it pour! They said we got a half an inch in such a short time. Look at the lake! No, <laughs> the river. It's, it's, I'm kidding. It's, but look how it came down and the water was running and where is it running? Straight down into the wood chips. But everything is wet. Look at the wood chips. Now, if we would get rain a lot, then the wood chips would break down on their own and they would break down super fast. But since we don't, you know, we either have to water it or just help it along a little bit or just let it take its time. But look, everything is wet. Look at the leaves are wet. Everything is wet. I did see there was a death. This little bee got stuck. He didn't stuck, I'm sorry. This little bee landed here. And he's not stuck, but he must have landed here. He must have been in the plants and it must have started to rain. And he came out and it was nighttime. Because sometimes I've noticed some of the bees don't go home. I think their clock is off and they just don't go home. And they end up crawling into the plant. That's actually how I got stung. I reached into the plant early in the morning and they shouldn't have been out and when I reached in I got stung but uh, yeah it looks like he must have crawled out maybe he was in the papaya and he must have crawled out to get out of the rain and he just sat there because this you know wouldn't get puddled but he didn't make it through the night oh look my bucket starting the Sun is starting to come out see that isn't that cool there's a solar but just wanted to do a really quick walkthrough to show that we got rain. Everything's wet. My tomatoes are wet. Isn't that funny? Breaking news last night on the news. Breaking news. Can you imagine that's breaking news in Southern California? It's raining. Breaking news. Where most places it's like, ugh, it's raining. But kind of just an update to let you know that we got rain. Ah, my daughter's roof leaked. I'm sure there's a lot of roofs that will be leaking from this. So there's going to be a lot of roofers. Look at the bucket. I didn't have my camera the other day, but I saw the birds taking a bath and drinking out of my buckets. So they have found the buckets and they're using the buckets good now. There's a tomato that's wrapped in tool because I had a second one. I thought, oh, nobody's bothering it. It was half gone yesterday. So now I had to use my tool on that and this way I will have a tomato. There's a red bell pepper down there, walking onions everywhere. Oh, the plants are going to love it. Not only that, I don't have to water. I won't water my garden probably for a couple days. Even though it's still going to be warm, it's going to be in the upper 70s. And who knows, it could surprise us and get into the 80s. But I just wanted to come out and say, yes, we got rain. This is the first rain in months. The eggplants are starting. I'm finally getting almost all the yellow ones off, and they're just flowering everywhere. Look at that. Look at that water on the leaves, rain water. And the sun is just coming out, even though, let me back up and show you the sky. We've got dark clouds and blue sky coming across. So that's why my solar fountains are just starting. That one just started. I love that one. Even though, as pretty as it is, it's not the biggest with the birds. Occasionally they'll go in there and get a drink, but they really like something like I see them in this one a lot. They stand on the rocks and take a drink. They use those. I'm not sure why they don't use that, or I'm not here. They just aren't in enough. Now see, this one hasn't started yet, but let's see. Sometimes it might be just dirty, so I kind of dust it off gets dirty or dusty. It could be the angle and it may be in the shade. I think it just needs to be dusted. And I think it's still in the shade. It's kind of burping off and on this one. I just saw it start. And don't worry, they do that sometimes to solar. So I've seen them stop. Oh, there it goes. See? I didn't even have to touch it again. Yeah, if your solar panel stop, you know, if it's uh, not working, the pump, just take the solar panel with your hand and wipe it. Sometimes a bird sits on it and does its thing and that will stop it for a while. 
couple more yellow eggplants I have to get off, but I've gotten them all off. Oh, you should see the bucket. And I've got flowers everywhere. Everywhere. I'm going to have full eggplant. Look at all this. This is like, this is just days. And now we're cloudy again, so all the solar pumps stopped. I just wanted to walk you through because look at that. Rainwater. I didn't even bother catching any of this. And here, I'll show you the eggplant real quick. So I've got eggplant that... Okay, the ants are because I threw a cupcake in there. Otherwise, there wouldn't be ants in there. But that's all right. Let them break their thing out. They're not bothering anything here. In fact, let them bother that over other stuff. And then I've got leaves from the garden I'm collecting because I want to get a whole bunch more containers going now. I'm amazed at the papayas. You've already seen it on my walkthrough. This tree is not even a year old. Comes up in the compost. Just takes off. Look at, look at the trunk on this thing already. It's amazing how fast they grow. And this one's sending a ton of little side shoots out. So this one's actually going to look like a tree. See the side shoots? The other ones didn't really do that that much. They're just starting. So it's something new this one's doing. And the other ones are starting to do it too now. But the fruit, it's fruiting already. I have no idea what kind of papaya it is. Gary thinks it's a strawberry papaya, but we're not sure. Because it's whatever we ate from the grocery store. And through in the compost bin. And there's my other Korean melon that is covered in tool. Why? Because they got the first one. But the tool works. They do not want to get near it. The rabbits, the squirrels, the rats, they won't go near it. They don't like it. In general, you know, you can't say everything. They're not all going to stay away from the tool. But I have had, knock on wood, knock on wood chips, I have had terrific luck with the tool. It, the problem is with some of them, like the tomato I lost, I didn't wrap it. And sometimes I get really lazy and I'll run out here and throw some tool on it and keep going, but I didn't put a little masking tape like this one. This one I wrapped really good and the branch is sticky, see that? So it's holding the tool. See, it sticks to the branch itself. But sometimes it's not sticky, like a tomato plant and it falls and then it's like, ooh, this stupid gardener, as the rat goes by, or, or the squirrel, forgot to put the tool on good. I got myself a tomato. So if you wrap it better, you know, if you're really trying to save something, it will work. And that's the problem. I don't wrap it real good. But that's it. I don't want to talk your, you know, your head off today. Just wanted to show you we did get rain. The wood chips are wet. Again, if you're in an area where you can get wood chips, and you do get rain periodically, even a couple times a month, your wood chips will break down amazingly fast. Amazingly fast. I mean, you'll have wood chips down and then you'll just brush it. Here, I don't know, but you'd brush it and then you'd have great soil underneath. Actually, it has broke down pretty good under there. But they'll get rich and black. And it just the richest soil you could possibly get. If for us, it's harder because, let me swing over here. When you have piles like that and no rain, like I always say, water is life. So if it's not getting water, you're not getting the microbes and the fungi and all that that need to break it down. So you'll get some of it. That's why I dig to the center on some of these piles when I want to use it like a potting soil. I kind of dig to the center because the center is always going to hold dampness. And there, it's got really rich soil. For like walking onions, they don't need much. You can grow those almost in pure wood chips because they're growing really within their little bulb. So it's really cool. So I can just get some wood chips, but potting soil is always good to have on hand if you're gonna sprout things and start new plants. That's it, look at the water. Is that beautiful? And these people that are sitting in these areas where they're flooding and getting all this water are saying, she's crazy. No. This is just the first rain in probably three months. I know for sure we had no rain in August, no rain in September. Now we're just starting October and we got very little, I don't know if we got any rain in July. So 
it's been the longest I can remember in a long time because we normally get a rain, rain shower in August during the summer and we didn't, but we got our rain, which saves me more time to work on videos because now I don't have to come out here for an hour or so in water. No, I, I'm joking. I'm gonna, I've got a lot of work to do on other stuff, but I just wanted to share with you our first rainstorm and I guess everybody is excited. Like I said, it was breaking news all over. That's so odd, our news. You know, they'll break the news like that for a drop that fell out of the sky, but it was pouring so hard. It actually scared me because I was thinking, oh my gosh, what's going to flood out? It was just pouring loud. It was just, just so loud. Look at that. Let me see if I can go underneath. Look at that, a raindrop. Everything is still so wet. But that's it, just wanted to share with you. We got rain, the garden's very happy. I wonder if that's why there were hundreds of hummingbirds last night. Just hundreds I noticed before the sun went down trying to feed. They were all over in all the feeders. And I don't know if you can see them now, they're all over. And maybe they knew that it was gonna rain and they needed some extra energy. I mean, these. These creatures know more than us, so I don't know, but they were just all over buzzing around my head and everything. And they're all out now. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Because at night, you know, it gets wet and cold, not super cold, but still cold enough. And they go into a type of hibernation, so their body shuts down at night because they are burning energy all day. So I just noticed last night there was just hundreds. They were all over the place, so they came here to eat. But that's it. So we've had rain. Rain water everywhere. Here's my pepinos. And of course a bean coming up because I've been picking my green beans that I don't eat and picking up the seeds and pushing them around so I'm gonna have green beans growing everywhere. And look at this, I want you all to see this too. See the masking tape? Unscaled, look at that, it's not hurt at all. That masking tape will last through rain and everything. Will some of it come loose? Of course, of course some of it will come loose. Look, there's a piece, came loose. I don't even know what was here though, actually. Never mind, there was, they must have been holding, I don't know. That's the thing, as the plant grows, so the masking tape will let it grow, which is good, and it won't choke out the plant, and then you could just pick off the tape, that's it, and either let it go in the ground, it's paper, or throw it in the trash. I'll probably throw it in the trash, since I bothered picking it. But I use the masking tape everywhere, and it's just wonderful, look back there. The frog tape maybe lasts a little bit better, the green tape, maybe. It is a little stronger um, as far as tape, and maybe it looks a little better. But all in all, it all works. Because I've had people say, oh no, we can't use it, it rains. No, no, I water every day. It's As long as you tape, tape to tape. Now sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just tape it around, and it's if you tape sticky to sticky, then it will really hold even better. I'll, I'll try to do some more videos on that. I've had some people say they wanted to see it up close, exactly what I was doing again. But look at this, this is all taped up. Even my solar panel is taped up there. I use masking tape for everything. Now occasionally, see, I will show you. This isn't even holding anything, that's interesting. I may come back with a piece of wire. I got that wire at the dollar store. They were blowing all their um, garden stuff out at the end of summer for four for a dollar. So I got some rolls of wire, but what I will do is use the masking tape, tape it up in the position I want, and if it's a heavy plant like that, tomato is kind of long and heavy and it's full of tomatoes, then I might afterwards go back and put a piece of wire. But what I love about the tape is I can use it to redirect a plant in the direction I want it to grow. And this way, even if the tape came off, it's growing now in that direction. So that works out really good too. 
Is it permanent like wire? No, but you know, your plants are garden plants. They're not going to be lasting for years and years, but I have used it on kale just to redirect it. If it started bending in a direction I didn't want it to grow, some of my, let's say my dinosaur kale, then I'll just redirect it. And then once the tail, once the, oh my gosh, once the kale starts to break loose from the paper, it will be okay. Oh, they finished this feeder because it's already growing in the direction I want it to grow in. So I can tape it up on the fence and then it will break loose. So it's not gonna choke out the plant. It's not gonna cause, like some people put wire around the tree and then they forget to take it off. And then they choke the tree out or they lose the tree because of that or they end up permanent scar in a tree. We're talking about a tree. Well, with the paper tape, you can use that even for a young tree. I'm using it right now, I think, for my papaya, one of my papayas, and it won't choke it out. Because if the papaya grows, it will break loose from the masking tape. The masking tape won't choke it. But it will direct it in a straight line up or whatever way I want. See, look at all the tape here. And this is what I mean tape to tape. As long as I go tape to tape, where I stick it around, I'll show you in another video better. The two sticky parts touch, it will stay on. If you just wrap it around like I did here, Sometimes they'll let loose a little bit, but tape to tape is, is stronger, but it's whatever way I feel like putting it on. And then I have some tool on the bottom on that pot because I have found that here, the snails don't like crawling up on the tool and something was getting in there, either snails or slugs and eating some of my walking onion babies. They'll eat them when they're really tiny. So that stops them from crawling up the pot, say. It works for me. All right, I turned a short video on rain into something too long, so let me get off. Wanted to just share with you that we got our rain, and now who knows, will it rain again? Actually, they said it might rain in a few days again. We'll see. And the hummingbirds are all coming in the feed, and I see that I've got to go back and fill some more feeders already. Why do they keep me busy? And somebody's working on the other side of the hill, so that's the machinery you hear. So that's it, and look at how beautiful. I actually like summer, but you know what? I think as I'm getting older, I like all the seasons. There's birds up on the palm tree. Oh, that was so funny. I had a crow up there. He found a piece of cupcake from a birthday party. And he stashed it up there, and he went back the next day to get it. And I didn't know what he was doing for about 15, 20 minutes, screaming and screaming at the top of his lungs. And I went and got my camera. He stashed a piece of birthday cake, because my granddaughter had her birthday here. And one of the kids must have left some cake in the backyard, probably on top of the wood chips. They were climbing all over the wood chips. And he was screaming like something was killing him. Well, what it was, was he lost it. He couldn't find where he had stashed it, in the palm tree. And he finally found it. He was so excited and then he took off with his big piece of cake. They had chocolate cake, but they also had some cupcakes and different cake that was yellow in case somebody didn't want chocolate. It was just so funny. Oh my gosh, those, it was a raven. Those ravens are amazing. At least they leave me alone, but I know they bother some of my neighbors. They steal their chicken eggs. Okay, well with that, wanted to share my rainy day with you. It's not raining right now. Will it rain again today? I don't know. But I'm happy with a little rain. I'd rather have a little rain here and there than downpours all the time. So with that, have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Oh, and remind me, I have another way of I'm eating my greens. I've got to get that up. Simple, fast, and easy. Okay, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.